we saw this explosion made in Unity and we'll try to recreate it in Billbox. So let's go to Billbox. This is how our start project looks like. We have a ball being launched out from the screen and let's start making an explosion. The assets that we're going to be working with is ball and circle. Let's go inside ball and we'll add the debris explosion, if collide. And let's connect if collide to create, collision to debris explosion. And on debris explosion done, let's remove our ball. In debris explosion, let's set minimum scale to four and maximum scale to eight. Let's turn off preserve momentum and turn off inherit color. The asset that we're gonna use is the circle. So let's select circle, click save. Let's go to circle, click start, turn on physics. We'll use dynamic and let's switch affected asset to none. So it wouldn't collide with our ground. Let's click play and see what we have. And now we launch a ball and when it hits the ground, we get our explosion of debris. Now let's add some variation in debris. So to do that, let's duplicate our animation, add a random five node and connect different animations. Let's change the colors. So let's use yellow. Let's see how it looks now. Now we have variation in color. Now let's add a scale down animation. For that we'll need a scale animation and let's use a delay. Let's connect all our random outs to our delay. And then from our delay, we'll connect to scale animation. We want to uncheck is delta and set our target scale to zero. Let's also add a random node and have a different delays for, for variation. So we end up with delay of 0.2 and a scale of duration 0.8 and one. And let's look at the results and this is how it looks. Now let's add a label that says boom. Let's add a label. Let's get a random node. We we'll use the out five to switch between the random. So over and under. Let's set the threshold to be 0.2. And the font we're gonna use is boom. And font builder, we're just using the aerial black. And for main color, using a yellow color and orange stroke and shadow orange. And let's set the text to say boom. We want to disconnect the output 5 delay and connect it to over so that our label wouldn't get scaled. Let's see what we have right now. So that's how it looks. Now let's start adding finishing touches to it. One of the things we want to add velocity drag. We also need a delay, another delay. We'll turn on velocity drag to slow down the movement of our objects and we'll make a delay of 0.3. With the other delay we're going to use for removing the label, set a delay of 1.2 and then we'll connect a remove node to it. And also when the scale animations are complete, we want to remove our circles. Let's look at the result. And that's how our results looks right now. Now let's go to our 3D world. And we have a gas barrel created here. Drop it into our scene. And for our gas barrel, we also have the if collider, debris explosion, and the remove node connected, just like we have for the ball. And let's create duplicates. Let's go to our scene. Now we we'll launch a ball to one of the gas barrels. It explodes and it triggers explosion of the other barrels as well. And here's our final scene. If this video was helpful for anyone, click on the like button, subscribe to our channel. And if anyone has any questions, write in the comments below.